Welcome to our lecture online. So here in this video we're going to discuss when a function is one-to-one. -one. What does that really mean, one-to-one? -one? Well, it means there's a one-to-one -one correspondence, but between what? It turns out between the x and the y values in the function. So, a function is one-to-one -one if for every x value there's only one y value. Now that's important. We can also say, or for every y value, there's only one x value because after all there's a one-to-one -one correspondence for every x there's only one y for every y there's only one x so here are two functions here the function is y equals x squared notice it's the equation of parabola that has the vertex at the origin and for a particular value for y notice that there's two values for x but it's still a function because it passes the vertical line test now this is not a function that is one-to-one -one. This is not one of those because for this one y value, there's two possible x values on the function. Now let's take a look over here. Here we have y equals x squared, the same function, but now we're limiting ourselves to values for x that are greater than or equal to zero. So just the right half of the parabola. Now for any particular value for y, there's only one specific value, one only for x. And therefore, there's a one-to-one -one correspondence. For every y, there's an x. For every x, there's a y, one-to-one. -one. There's a special reason why we're looking at this, because when we start taking the inverse of a function, well, we'll get to that later. It's important to, dis to distinguish between these two kinds of functions. Essentially, one-to-one -one functions are a subset of all the functions. All the functions include one-to-one -one functions, and all the, ones, all the functions that are not one-to-one. -one but there is a special reason why we want to look at this concept. So here again, the difference is, there's only one corresponding x value for a particular y value, but here there are two corresponding x values for a particular y value. This is not one-to-one, -one, this is one-to-one, -one, and that is how we tell the difference. So that's not a function test, that's a one-to-one function test. It's a one-to-one -one function test, that's right. We want to check to see if there's a one-to-one -one correspondence so that we don't have more than one x value for a particular y value. But both of them are perfectly fine, legitimate functions. Is that they're not both one-to-one? -one. They're not both one-to-one. -one. Yep, that's right. 